Ready to go, guys? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Cool. Yep. <clears throat> Welcome to Balcony TV Auckland. I'm Severe here with I Am Giant. Welcome, welcome. Hi, mate. Hey, uh, Ed, what are you going to play for us? Uh, we're going to play City Limits. Cool, take it away. If I had to known it, then I would have shown it. Frustration with this old town. You can brush it under, but it always comes back. It's still following you around. And the city limits keep on getting bigger. Just when you thought you had made it out, and you're sick of waiting, lying on the pavement, trying to get out of this old town. She can buy that. She wants a little more. Who we live in? Who we live in? That she wants a little more. I will live in a million killer time. Dying for your chance to feel alive That she wants a little more. I will live in a military time. Look here, bro. Thank you so much. Hey, I found this. I found this guy downstairs as well. Having a beer, right? Didn't know you guys had started without me. Dr drummer not required, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Still good. Hey, um, firstly, uh, tell me, what does I Am Giant mean? What does that mean? The name or the, the yeah, band? Yeah, the name. What the name? What does it mean? Well, it means I'm of a very large nature. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Essentially. No, how did they, what's, how did you get the name? Um, there's nothing really too special about it. We just kind of were, were looking through a few. We just come up with a few ideas, and, and basically we like the word giant, and then we just tried to combine it with a few other sentences, and we just came up with I'm giant, and everyone liked it. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That, right? Nice, nice. Now, and also, there's a lot of like old band chemistry going on here. How did how did it all come about? In London as well, not in New Zealand, right? Yeah, basically, um, me and Paul, I was in a band called Blind Spot. Yep. Can't go past. Uh, <laughs> Paul was in a band uh, called Stylus and he produced the first Blind Spot record, so we already had oh, a relationship, yeah. kind of a writing relationship as well, and we decided to move over to London and start doing some songs. And Why London though? Why, why go there? Well, it was just a bigger place, much bigger place. Um, you know, sort of, I was actually born there, oh, okay. um, so I had a British passport. That's one, one of the main music markets in the world. Um, we thought, you know, we'd go over there and, and have a go, bigger, bigger environment, bigger musical environment. You know, it's sort of Europe, it's the key to Europe, and uh, we thought we'd go over there, find a good singer, and uh, yeah, and you found Ed. How, how did you find Ed? How did that happen? Well, I took 160 auditions, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, <laughs> finally we found a 
hairy guy from Southampton. So wow. we're pleased with that. <laughs> how did how did you come about to connect with these guys? How did uh, on the internet. Oh really? Basically, yeah. I was just looking dating at some websites. yeah, dating websites. You know, <laughs> looking out at her. Dating Shelton, websites. Uh, saw, um, <laughs> saw Paul and Shelton, like a couple wanted, you know. But yeah. no, it was literally on the internet, just looking at sort of like classified musician sort of sites, and I just saw the advert that they were looking for a singer and just replied to it. They liked the sound of my voice. Went up and met them, and well, I, I went from there. Really, I heard that this wasn't really your genre either. You were doing some other other stuff. No, I mean originally, <clears throat> originally I'm from more of a sort of like a soul sort of background, um, <clears throat> but then. I was just basically brought up on Soul, Soul and Motown and that kind of stuff and did some work in with um, Craig David and the Artful Dodger um, yeah, nice. when it sort of the garage scene kind of blew up and then just kind of made the diversion once the garage scene died over to rock. Yeah, well um, I think that's what gives the band that extra something yeah, a little bit different sure. as well, you know? Definitely, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Hey, anyway, so just to finish it off, the album is obviously must be an album in the works. The single's been huge. The single's been huge. What's next? Uh, basically, we're, we're, we're just putting out an EP, um, a four track EP, and then we're, I mean, we've got a bunch of songs, so we're just, we're taking our time with the album. We want to make it right and make a, you know, a really good album. So uh, we've just got the second single on the way, um, Neon Sunrise, and then we'll concentrate on the album, get the right team behind us, and cool. get in there, man. Well, awesome. Thanks for joining us on Balcony TV Auckland. And don't forget to check in this week for more episodes.